Oh, camera. Yes, annoying. Focus. Huh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Woo. I am just coming on to make a quick video vlog. Fucking get anything right, like ever. Never. So basically guys, I just wanted to come on and share with you like what's been going on with me and where I've been because I haven't been able to like post or like update but I am back from LA <laughs> yeah so um like what that was like traveling being away from my baby for that long don't have any makeup today guys because it's just gonna be that type of video <laughs> no makeup um PD is just running around crazy as per usual and yeah let's go ahead and hop into it Okay, so I just have this cute cropped hoodie and it just says honey on it. I just officially returned back to my regular job. So that has been very fun. Katie, sorry. So today is going to be a makeup less video. A little chill, more relaxed. I have my hair just in this headband and my hair just kind of off away from my face. And yeah, guys, what do you think? You guys like my new hair? It's so pretty and like just flowy and it's soft and it's just movable. So yeah guys, so listen to me. I'm thinking about a few different things. This video is a random one, but it is definitely more of like an updated vlog video, whatever. I've been traveling recently. I had a really great opportunity to do some work. So I was gone for a little bit working on a project and I finally officially just got back home. I missed home, but LA was great. Uh, definitely different, definitely different from how I live now. Yes, I had a really great time in LA. I really enjoyed myself. I really literally feel like I did not get enough time there. So I am definitely trying to make a trip back to LA, but this time I'm gonna bring my daughter and hopefully we can go around her birthday. So that's something that I really would like to do because I loved LA, like it was so amazing. <laughs> the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about are med spas. Now, recently I have had a consultation at another med spa, oh my god. So I went here, they gave me this really cool bag, Ideal Image, so that's one of the most popular med spas that we have. I'm pretty sure you may have one in your local area as well, but I got this really nice freebie bag, and inside, there's another bag, but basically it just has this really cute, um, cool scoping pouch. Like, look how cool this is, guys. Isn't this amazing? So basically inside of here, I have a little water bottle. So now that I am going to the gym a lot more and trying to be more active, I've been going to the gym a lot more. And guys, I've been more diligent about going to the gym and working out, not because I'm trying to lose weight, but literally it's a stress relief. And it does help. Um, and it's also good for you, so you definitely should want to work out and you should want to be active at some point in your life. A lot of people aren't, a lot of people don't do it. So, when I was in LA, I had a lot of downtime and I really just had time to reflect into myself and my feelings. Guys, LA is cool. There's planes and buildings. And... So, yeah guys, I'm very excited and I'm in LA. I don't know how well. uncertain so those are a lot of emotions to be dealing with and especially if you really don't have an outlet to release those feelings or you don't know how to compress them or make them go away or just cope through them so going to the gym was a really great stress reliever for me and so now that I'm back home I am trying to make it a point to go to the gym at least two to three times out of the week like I'm not playing no games and plus I want that body to be right like because I've been going to the gym a lot I asked I ordered some stuff from Lululemon, so guys, I have a Lululemon package here that I really would like to unbox or like unbag for you guys, but I don't know. It's, it might just be its own video, but if you guys want to see my workout clothes or see what I bought, just let me know. I might do like, like an LA haul or something or like LA, what I found in LA, because I did find a couple of great pieces, but 
I think we should just make that a video. <laughs> so let me know if you guys want to see what I got from LA. <laughs> yeah. Now, speaking of packages, okay. Tell me why I'm in LA and I had ordered a package before I left to LA. The package notified my phone or my email and said that the package was delivered. So I had a friend here watching my home, watching my cat, making sure my cat had food and water. And I told my friend, hey, look out for this package. Like there should be a package there. If the package is not there, it should be there tomorrow or whatever. Like you should see a package. There was never a package found. There was never a package recovered, package tracked but no package. Someone in this apartment building, my new place of residency, someone has stolen my fucking package. Can you guys believe it? Like literally, I am so angry. You don't even understand, like I am furious. Just know, don't let a bitch come past any package on anybody's doorstep, because guess what? It's mine. So I finally called Coach. I'm so sad to say that I ordered things for you guys. Like I literally placed this retarded large order and was like, you know what? When I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna do a fabulous giveaway. And I'm already still accumulating good things for you guys because I like to do great giveaways. This was gonna be like one of the main big gifts, which was from Coach, but clearly that's not gonna happen. So then I had a huge debate with Coach when I was formally informed that I would re receive a refund. Do you know I, it took me 45 minute phone call to call Coach to tell them, hey, I haven't received my refund yet, like what's going on? For the woman to tell me, oh no, we don't issue refunds. I said like, hell if you don't. Oh, well we only give a store credit or a merch credit and try to resend the items out. I said the items are no longer available. I said and you're not sending me a merchandise credit bitch because I didn't use no merchandise credit and how are you gonna give me a merchandise credit when the items that I had wanted are no longer available. So now what am I what am I to purchase? I don't want to purchase anything right now. I wanted what I ordered and now I'm not receiving it. Now you're telling me you're not gonna give me my money back? Wrong. So I asked to speak to a supervisor. She got me the supervisor. The supervisor tried to implement or reiterate the same policy that they were not gonna give me my money. And I told her, I said, well, I'm not calling just to be calling. I said, I was calling to check on the status of my refund. I said, I had thought it was already in the process. Somebody that I spoke to prior to me being in LA had already told me, you know what, okay, Ms. Baker, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, refund you your money. I said, that's why I'm calling. I'm calling to check the status to see why haven't I received my refund yet. That's the reason why I'm calling. I'm not calling for no other reason. She's like, oh, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna pull the phone records. I said, great, you do that. I said, but you pull every single phone record from LA, okay, all the way till here. I said, because I didn't just call one, two, three times. I called multiple times, okay, to situate this situation. You understand? So she's like, okay, let me pull the phone records and then I'll call you back. She calls me back and she lets me know, oh yes, we, we, we did tell you that we would issue you a refund. I said, I wasn't making it up. I wasn't pulling out the air. I wasn't calling upset and angry and blowing down on you for no reason. My time is valuable to me. I could be doing a million and one things. Right now I'm talking to you, inquiring about my refund. So this is how I have to spend my time. So after this whole ordeal of the phone call about the stolen package, she was able to issue my refund. So that got squared away and I was so happy because I was gonna be so pissed if this woman did not try to give me my money back whether or not my package was stolen, lost, delivered or not, bitch, I don't have it. <laughs> so we have to figure something out. So I figured that out and it was just so nerve wracking. It was just so annoying, but literally guys, I've just been working on my skin, trying to stay stress free, even though it is very stressful and you know, flying and traveling and doing all this stuff and your emotions and everything. It's a lot, like it is literally overwhelming in itself. So I just wanted to come on and update you guys and just kind of let you know what's been going on with me and just even to like, I'm just so happy to be back home. And I was just coming out here to update you guys. Um, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. I love each and every last one of you for subscribing and watching my videos. Guys, communicate with me, tell me things, tell me what you wanna see, tell me what I should make videos on because I am open. And this is exciting and I'm so excited guys. And like I said, we are approaching 10,000 subscribers guys. I got all my videos stashed up for you guys. I'm gonna be picking three lucky winners. So guys, stay tuned and keep watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And guys, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.